Now, YouTubers, what we're doing here is a range review of the Mossberg 500 rifled slug barrel, 24 inches long. And we installed this rifled slug barrel on a camo model Mossberg 500. Now notice that it's an extra heavy barrel. In fact, another shooter commented that he thought that this was a 10 gauge because that barrel is a lot heavier than a normal 12 gauge barrel. It has ports on both sides about four inches from the end of the muzzle, eight ports on each side. The barrel has six grooves, right hand twist, one to 36 inches. And what we did was we mounted a Bushnell 1.5 to 4.5 scope on the cantilever scope mount using Burris quick detachable rings. So here's a, a shot of the rings on the other side, has a quick detach. Now the action of this particular Mossberg 500 is very smooth with this thicker barrel. It doesn't affect the action of the slide. And even though the barrel is a little heavier, the weight of this rig isn't that bad. It's right around eight pounds with the scope and the rings and the heavier barrel. So let's go ahead and shoot uh, slugs in, in this uh, at 25 yards and see what uh, performance are. We don't expect regular Foster-style Foster slugs to shoot that accurately in a rifled barrel, but we'll give it a try. And right now the Sable ammunition for 12 gauge is hard to get a hold of being in short supply. So let's shoot some groups, groups with the uh, with the Foster style Lee one ounce and seven eighth ounce loads. Okay, first we're shooting the Lee seven seven eighth ounce slug loads. Hi YouTubers, what you're looking at is the bore of the rifled Mossberg slug barrel after we just got done coming back from the range and shooting 85 rounds of 12 gauge slugs through this barrel. Notice that with the unique powder and the blue, and the blue dot powder that the bore is pretty clean. And there's not a lot of plastic in there, there's not a lot of fouling. 85 rounds at the range. So that's a good thing to report to you. Mossberg 500 rifle slug barrel, 12 gauge. So YouTubers, we're back from the range and brought the targets back. And uh, here's the gun, of course, it's the Mossberg 500 with the rifled slug barrel made by Mossberg, ported, and it has the cantilever mount. Well anyway, we brought, came back from the range and we're testing this barrel with the regular Lee one ounce and seven eighth ounce slugs. So here's the 
group we shot at 25 yards with the 7 8 ounce Lee slug and 31 grains of unique. Not that good, but it'll take down a deer or any other animal. Notice the 7 to 8 ounce slugs make very nice round holes, which means that they stabilize very well. And this is not a surprise because of the heavy nose character of the 7 8 ounce slug with the tapered skirt and the stability offered by that in a smooth bore barrel. Well, we're shooting in a rifle barrel to see how, how well these Lee slugs will shoot in a rifle barrel. So that's the 7 8 ounce slug with the 31 grains of unique. It looks like if we go a little less unique, it'll shoot a little more accurate. Because here's the same slug, 7 8, 8 ounce slug, but instead of 31 grains of unique, we're using 30 grains of unique. So there's two slugs here and two here, and that one might be, a, might, might be a, a flyer. If we could have brought that into that group, it'd be very nice. But that's still respectable group. 25 yards. Then we went to a fairly light loading of blue dot. This is 31 grains of blue dot. And the Lee instructions recommend up to 49 grains of blue dot. So this is 31 grains, is 18 grains less than the maximum charge the Lee in instruction sheet gives. Well, we shot this at 25 yards and three slugs went right in there, in a little clover leaf. And then the next one hit here, the next one hit here. So we have two groups with the same slug, the same load. Uh, by the way, this is loaded with a one ounce Lee slug. So this is a one ounce slug with 31 grains of blue dot. And once again, these stabilized well too. So we're going to do more testing with this, uh, this barrel. And as soon as I get some uh, Sabo ammunition uh, from any outlet, right now they don't have any. But if, as soon as I get some of that, we'll, put, we'll go ahead and, and do a range test on those too. Uh, by the way, putting this rifle slug barrel in this Camo 500 Mossberg results in a rig that's a little lighter than the other Mossberg 500. This one feels like it's about 8 pounds Maybe it's a little bit more. We should weigh it, but uh, it's definitely a little lighter than, than the other Mossberg 500 shotgun when it has this barrel installed. So YouTubers, take care, and we'll see you again in the next video.